Um, but he can back him up. He's got he's got something to say about everything. He really does. Um, <laughs> you know, his son and I were really good friends for a long time. We're not talking now, but we were. All right, what happened? What Towns? Uh, yeah, yeah, Justin. Justin Towns, Towns Earl. Yeah, we were good friends. He he got mad, man. We were. Uh, um, he he had a split up with a girl, mm-hmm. and we continued to hang out with her and hired her to work for us at one point because she was a roadie at the drive-bys you know, were no this was real recent this oh, was no. in the last <laughs> few months uh-huh. and uh, you know i just i said man I, he, he's yelling you're not lo- a loyal friend i'm like yeah. dude we're not gonna make you hang out with her we're not over here talking about how shitty a person you are yeah we're just all grown people and uh, he just got really mad about it got got offended you know well you I'd, know I'd, I'd, I'd be fine with it if you called me up and Wanted to hang out, I wouldn't mind, but it was just childish. I'm not going to apologize. Well, come on, this is country music, man. You yeah, know how it goes huge. with, your, yeah, right. with, with right. the girls. The you know, girl. yeah, but <laughs> you write about it. I mean, it's like, you write about it. You yeah. write about it. You write about like it. Like that song, sure. Codeine, is like that's a heartbreaking song. But you wouldn't see Willie and Waylon getting pissed off about who was hanging out with their ex. I don't. I think that's true. I, I think that you know, after a certain point, there there is a brotherhood. I'm not saying it's necessarily a healthy thing. I don't know that the women fare that well, well in that it, system. It, I don't know if it's misogynist, you know. Right, I, but... but I uh, don't try to handle it that way. But, I, it's not like we pass women around between us or anything. It happens. But, uh, well, I mean, maybe we have. Maybe yeah, we yeah, haven't. Yeah, but a few months here and there. Maybe. Neither here nor there. Yeah. Um, not but, but, this particular one. Not right, at all, right, right. No, I get what you're saying. And it just kind of made me sad that, it, that he got all that upset about it. Well, he was pissed off that you still you didn't fire her. Yeah, Basically. yeah, he was pissed off that we that we took her out on the road and that we that we continued to hang out with her. And I was like, man, that's your business, you know. Yeah, but we'll probably be friends again. So yeah, he'll get know. over it. He'll get over it. Yeah, you like his song? I do. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a talented guy. I played on one of his records. Uh huh. And my wife played on a couple of them. And yeah, I think he's good. And what? There's some other uh, 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 country scions around. Uh, the Jennings kid. Right. Shooter, yeah, Shooter's a buddy of mine. Yeah, yeah, I like Shooter. I like his attitude. He, uh-huh. He's definitely uh, unafraid to speak his mind, and and makes some real weird country music that I, I don't I listen to a lot of it. He makes some real cool stuff that's very, I would say, experimental for country. What about Hank Three? Hank Three, I don't know very well. Yeah. I know his sister Holly. Yeah, um, she's open for us, and uh, and she's really talented, really good. I've seen Sheldon. Play some shows. I, I really, I've liked the country shows he did, and I, I don't necessarily think he's qualified for metal music, but that's my own personal taste. <laughs> a lot you, of people like to see shows. Do you like metal? metal? I do like metal, uh-huh. but uh, but you know, I have my own personal taste. In Who are metal. your metal guys? I I like Mastodon. Uh-huh. I think Mastodon's a really good metal band. Um, uh-huh. You know, I I when I was touring with Ryan Adams, I wound up listening to a lot of like Norwegian. Black metal, like oh, yeah, Grisnak and stuff? shit, like where they were eating each other, like in real life, you know. Uh huh. Ryan's very particular about his metal. Yeah, he, yeah. He doesn't. Ryan Adams doesn't listen to country music or like melodic music much at all. It's always the the deathiest death metal. Everything well, else is false metal. To it plays to something in your heart sometimes. I mean, I just started listening to metal for the first time legitimately. Uh, as a 50-year-old. Yeah. And uh, it's soothing somehow. It does. I, I, you know what I told Amanda, my wife, to, <laughs> yeah. uh, when she was driving in really shitty traffic to put on the hardest shit she could find. And uh, she got the last Mastodon record, and that got her through, like, driving through Manhattan. And she really calmed her nerves down. It's amazing how that works. It is. It is. Yeah. All right, so you meet Patterson when you're hanging out at his...